Here's the deal. In Germany, there is something weird going on when it comes to butter. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. And I really want to know more about this phenomenon. So, in Germany, it's very common that the butter you use for your bread is marketed as Danish. And I don't really know why the Germans like the Danish so much that they decide that their butter is the best butter in the world. So there is this Swedish-Danish, I guess, joint venture or cooperative that makes butter and milk and so on. And they have a brand of butter for your bread, you know, like spread. Hmm? And they call that Kärgård or something like that. I don't speak very good Danish, but I would suggest that it means something like swamp garden. I, I think it refers to some kind of place, like it's a toponym. And uh, maybe a Dane could tell me here if, it's, if I'm correct here, but at least this brand is genuinely Danish or Swedish Danish. They have their headquarters in, in Copenha uh, Copenhagen or close to Copenhagen or something like that. And uh, yeah, the word is real Danish. And like all stores in Germany that sell no-name products, cheap no-name products, and in this case butter, they have their own brand of Danish butter. And I think this is hilarious because most of the times the brand is not even real Danish. <laughs> but for some reason the Germans they love Danish butter and the companies they want the consumer, the customer to associate their brand with Denmark and I guess to ride on the success of Kärgården or uh, however you pronounce that which is the brand of Ola which is this huge Swedish Danish company uh, that produces uh, yeah butter and other diary products and the brand name that makes the least sense is the one from Kaufland and small go small garden is the name there and small means nothing in Danish as far as I know. In Swedish, I found in, I think, one dictionary, I found that it meant something like 100 years ago or 200 years ago or something. It meant like small waste in a forest. I, I, I guess like f really uh, plant waste, something like that. I have no idea really, uh, but I don't think that's what they went for uh, when they named this. They just wanted the or there and they want something that sound remotely German and Danish together so that yeah you would associate it with Denmark I have I, that's it basically but this means nothing garden I, I don't know why they went why they didn't w uh, go for Gordon they would have two or there two you know a with dots or with rings they would have two of those so why did they go for an A there? I have no idea. Hmm. The butter spread from Lidl is called Sörgarten or something like that. I hate my Danish. I should really practice. If you're a Dane, I'm sorry. I, I really want to try this for real sometimes. But in this case, I'm just gonna pronounce it the Swedish way then. Söder Gården. Gården, fine in Danish too, but Söder, that's Swedish with a Danish ö, uh, and not the one with two dots, which is Swedish, and it resembles, well, it does, it's the same in Germany, so they don't want that on their Scandinavian butter. They want the O with the, with the line across. And they need that one. So, yeah, it makes sense Scandinavian-wise, but it doesn't make sense Danish-wise. I think south is süd there, so. Uh, I mean, works in, tar in like when <laughs> talking about marketing here, like they want to market this to Germans as something Danish that resembles uh, Kärgården, and yeah, it does. But linguistically, it makes no sense. And the grocery store Netto, they have Smörbotter, and that kind of makes sense 
because smör or smell or whatever that's butter in Danish and in Swedish for that matter with another uh but butter means nothing as far as I know it should resemble butter I think but have a foreign flair or a Danish flair <laughs> but as far as I know butter makes no sense but butter butter makes sense it means what does it mean it means uh, bucket in Danish so why we have the same there why not go for like butter bucket so you would have two of those weird weird letters why not go with that they should have done that however the brand from Aldi makes the most sense because it's actually a Danish word Melkebutter. I'm not gonna try and tra <laughs> like pronounce that in a nice Danish way because I'm so terrible at it but in this case it means literally milk can or milk bucket I don't know if you use this but it's because it's really the word for dandelion I think that's the English uh, English name for it the flower dandelion that's Melkebutter in in Danish and uh, yeah, uh, on the packaging there is a flower, but it's not a dandelion. <laughs> so I don't know. It's all very, very like for a Scandinavian. It's a weird, it's a weird phenomenon. This thing. Do you know another product like in your country that tries to seem like it's from a foreign country or something with a weird name that doesn't make sense in that language or whatever. I would really like to know more about this phenomenon and like what other types of products there are. And we will see each other in another video. I hope that you like this short little rant or informative video maybe. And yeah, we'll see each other next time. <laughs> see you guys. Hey, bye.